Okay, guys and girls, I'm going to shoot a quick video of this 04 and a half uh, F350 I bought to use while my other truck was getting a new motor put in it. And people know I'm generally pretty picky. I, I, I usually do a lot of cosmetics on everything I get, and I don't like rust. So this truck, I'm, I'm going to try to make this brief because it's kind of a longer story. But here's the deal. The guy, this, this was a one-owner truck before the guy got it from and basically what i understand is is the first guy was real picky about it and and you know babied it and he had some 19 fives or 22 fives on it and he had retreads on it and he learned a lesson about retreads um this truck is not rusty i i do have a receipt like i said for twenty four thousand dollars that was spent on it and i spent time cleaning it you could tell that it didn't have any interior damage really there was a uh, one spot on this seat that i fixed you, you can barely see it i did a pretty decent job for a rookie um other than that the ac is cold the radio works um i added a brake controller to it you could see like i said this thing is not rusty rust is a big deal to me because when you have to go work on things that are rusty brake lines calipers rotors things like that underneath the truck u-joints it, it creates an issue so here's what happened it, it, this is the story he told me of course so one of the tires come off and it smacked that fender and then a piece of it caught this back flare okay um that was the extent of, of the damage at that point. I have all my gear and straps in here, and I don't like putting it on the seats, so I have the seats all folded down. The back seats are super nice. They're, they're not torn up, nothing. Uh, like I said, you can see the rockers, how clean they are, um, bottoms of the doors. I'm going to cold start this thing. Um, it's been sitting here for four or five days since I got back from Biloxi with it. Um, the, uh, I, I use this cushion when I drive for hours now, I'm getting old. Anyways, uh, you can see how nice the seats are. Like I said, everything works. Um, it's got more floor mats in it. Sorry about the sun in this video, but, uh, anyways, so then the second guy was a concrete guy and he basically, that's where most of the, the, the bumps and bruises come from. He used the bed uh, inside. Never had a gooseneck ball, by the way, which is always nice for guys who know their stuff. Um, it, uh, the front bumper's got some scuffs on it. I was going to paint it. One day, if I ever got to it, I was going to paint the front bumper and the grill back to red because I thought they looked cool. I remember when these trucks were new. Um, so, new alternator, new starter, new batteries. The, the, and I, everything has it had 16,000 when I bought it it's got about 19 now you can clearly see the brand new sensors the brand new Ford motor you can see the studs they did the updated jug for if, if you're a 6.0 guy then then they've done everything to this thing that needs to be done um, to make it right it uh, and anyways so other than a little bit of cosmetic stuff which is kind of kind of hard to see. It's, it's not bad. Uh, I did have the front windows tinted because they were not tinted. I, I haven't been in a truck that the windows weren't tinted. But the, the story I got was the original owner of this uh, owned a trucking company. And I kind of think, you know, some people want to be seen. And uh, he had the fancy wheels on it. The truck's actually filthy right now. It's been sitting under this tree and the neighbors mowing the lawn, get dust all over it. But uh, the tires and all the other parts, minus the batteries, were newer than the, that. Have about 19,000 miles on them. I don't like mud tires. The body of this truck only has 129, which that'll go up a little bit. I got a couple more runs to do. Um, but it just if, if you're if you're worried about reliability, which is what I was worried about, this is a good truck. If you're if you're worried about you know looking cool and and being super fancy you know you could find something better but uh but if, if again if you're worried about reliability this is a good truck uh and, and over time if i could here i i it cost me 30 grand by the time all was said and done 
to do the initial repair to find out when the pump messed up and I had the pump safety kit that wasn't the issue my pump actually cracked in half and locked the motor up and spun the crank gear very bizarre thing to happen but you know I, I in the last two and a half years I've invested so much money in my truck and I basically rebuilt the thing you know I, I couldn't bail out at that point so I basically am asking less for this truck than the guy spent putting the motor in it and, and doing all the work to it uh, which is exactly what I'm going through now but the 6.7 is more expensive so anyways uh, and I'm doing a bunch of fail safes uh, uh, an upgraded pump that doesn't come apart like that and all kinds of things and, and it sucks because I spent the money on preventative maintenance on my 6.7 for the fuel system saver to come apart and that's not what mine did my pump cracked in half and locked the motor up anyways but I was shooting this video to show a guy the condition of the truck uh, I wasn't really quite ready to sell it yet but I have another truck I don't like the 73 truck because it's slower they claim it's more reliable whatever anyways uh, this truck runs good but there you go 2004 video running